just an update on progress um, I've taken the seal out and I'm going to get new seals for this I just want to try putting a seal in and see if that fixes this as a problem with the, with the saw not starting I'm a bit reticent to pull the uh, cases to bits yet it will it will happen but I want to try the simple things first now I have found a bit of a problem with this case and that is this pin right here hopefully you can see that it's been broken away at some stage I was wondering why the um, chain brake wasn't working properly and when I pulled all this to apart I found the pin there was quite loose and the pin actually pulled straight out so that's probably the reason why the chain brake wasn't working and uh, Here's the um, OEM cases and uh, I had to punch this um, pin out. The, um, now this has left me in a bit of a, a bit of a quandary really because I like these cases. They're a tidy case. The um, OEM case is uh, not so tidy. See here we've got things like this here. This kind of thing where it's worn. Little blobs of what I assume are either aluminium or the magnesium from the cases and they're not in a really good condition oh, they're probably still usable but I don't like the look of them myself The, where the bar sits, it's been worn away. It's had a chain loose at some stage by the looks of it. It's all worn. It just doesn't, visually it doesn't look very nice. But the redeeming feature is it's, it's still, um, I can still put the pin back in and it won't wobble around like the, uh, the aftermarket case yeah, you can see where it's um, worn through here and all through here so that leaves me in a bit of a quandary Do I use the um, OEM cases as they are? Do I uh, buy aftermarket cases? Or do I use or buy just one OEM case and mate it? to the good side of the case so that's something I've got to think about when I'm rebuilding this saw so yeah that's just a, a quick update on um, how things are progressing so yep again thanks for watching